Well, here we are again. We made it through another week. I hope that you've all had a good week. It's been good here. Nothing exciting going on, just uh, some of the regular stuff. We had a bit of rain this week and uh, made a little bit of progress with our garden, so that's pretty cool. Um, we got a few more plants to, um, to plant in the garden that Daryl is creating that uh, you'll see about in just a few minutes. And uh, the goats have been doing their thing. The dogs have been doing their thing. The tortoises are starting to wake up a little bit. Um, I mean, they don't hibernate or anything anyway, but the weather's been a little bit nicer. So they've been coming out a little bit more. So you'll get to see them a little bit more too. So um, anyway, we're glad you're here. Welcome back. Welcome to the Howard Homestead. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on the seeds that I planted on Friday. Today is Wednesday and uh, yesterday actually, so that's what, four, five days after I planted them, I've got some sprouts. So that uh, this row here is corn. And then there's a couple um, right here and right here you can kind of see starting there is some zucchini. So we're getting started and uh, hopefully we can keep them. Last year uh, I planted corn from seed and that's one of the ones that went really well until I took it outside and uh, that's when the uh, the birds got to it and everything so we're gonna have to try to figure something out this year to make that not happen so anyway yay I'm excited Valor, you're too old for that. Faith, you're way too patient. You shouldn't let him do that. I gotta try some. <laughs> you're supposed to eat it, not bathe in it. You gotta take little pieces. You can't put this whole thing in your mouth, you'll choke. You gotta grind it down, boy. Girl, how oh, you give up on me? Oh, oh face so good here. So one thing that a lot of people don't realize about goats is that in the front they don't have any top teeth. They have bottom teeth only in the front, and then they have top and bottom teeth in the back. Those back teeth can do some damage. Actually, they can hurt you in the front too because. The top part is like a hard, um, bony piece that uh, helps them to break things off or whatever. But they do all their chewing with their back teeth. Oh, this boy, I thought he wanted a head scratch with glass. <laughs> You're strange. Uh, you in for yours? Oh, hey, Otis. <laughs> this is our uh, romaine lettuce and then the iceberg lettuce which Still trying to see if it's going to actually work or not. This is a green bell pepper over here, right? And then over on this side is the gypsy sweet peppers. It's already got some little fruits growing on it. Not sure what all this is. 
<laughs> Daryl threw some seeds in here and I guess we're gonna just wait and see what happens. Oh, the summer. Over here. So the one up front is a uh, it's a hummingbird vine. It's this, it's flowers that's supposed to attract hummingbirds, getting that started in there. And then that little stick back there is hopefully going to be a raspberry bush. Some more seeds that Daryl planted. And here's our uh, peach stick that uh, it's really hard to see in the video because it's so skinny and tiny. But um, you can see that it's got some buds and growth starting on it so it's taller than me We're wondering if we should take advantage of the soft ground today and get it out of this pot and actually get it into the ground but I'm also a little afraid that that might be the end of this stick and then our citrus tree down here, this portion of the tree is um, white grapefruit. This is where, uh, yeah, the goats got out and got to it, so it's trying to come back from that. It's doing pretty good, though. Um, and then on this part, you see some of the flowers, all these purple flowers. This is um, a lemon. There's a lot of little buds coming up on this one so hopefully the wind doesn't uh, come in and knock all those buds off and we don't lose all of our lemons because we'll have a nice little crop of lemons if these all come about and then this part over here is not flowering yet either but there is definitely some growth um, once again the goats got to it when they got out um, but this is an orange tree. So we're going to have lemons, grapefruits, and oranges all on this tree. So the orange is um, Arizona sweet orange. The grapefruit, it looks like the goats got to this, is marsh white grapefruit. And then where's the tag for the lemons? Hmm. Looks like it got lost somewhere along the way. I want to say it's Lisbon lemon, but I'm not sure if that's Lisbon lemon. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's a lemon of some sort. Here. Yeah, you better not. So what are you going to put up on that um, back row here? Right there, I'll do the grapes. In the corner? Yeah. Grapes Tomatoes in the corner? The corners. Is that okay? Or? Yeah, no, I'm just trying to think of what we have that climbs uh, besides the grapes and the yeah. tomatoes. The peas. peas the peas are probably going to need to go along that one there. Yeah. Raspberries and blackberry. So I need to go against the fence. So, I mean, I put all that dirt over there so I can put more in there. I need to put more of this stuff over there. But I think the three bags did it. I would just need to remember to water this. <laughs> yeah, uh, the holes will reach in here. Or I can just spray it from the outside.
Today's Caught on Camera is brought to you by our Palo Verde Cam. As I drove down the driveway heading off to church, I saw some movement in my rearview mirror that caught my attention. Well, let's just say now I know where all the dog food is going. That is where I put Cooper's food right before we left. And as soon as we drove off, all those birds came down and decided to have a feast. Just a quick reminder that this Saturday, February 10th, is movie night with the goats. If you haven't registered yet, please make sure you email howardhomesteadaj at gmail.com. And we hope to see you there. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to press the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. And of course, please subscribe to my channel.